Hello everybody, our chapter is triangles and this is the fourth period. Please prepare a ruler, a protractor, your booklet and a paper. In this lecture, we will learn about the sum of angles in a triangle and we will solve some problems. 1. The sum of angles in a triangle. Given here a triangle ABC, I will copy each angle, angle A, angle B and angle C. I will arrange these angles on this straight line, angle C, angle A and angle B. What can you observe? The three angles form a straight angle. The measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. Then we can say that the sum of angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. In the adjacent figure we have triangle ABC. ACB equals 45 degrees. ABC equals 75 degrees. We want to find the measure of angle BAC. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, so we can write BAC plus ABC plus ACB equal 180 degrees. Now replace the known angles by the me their measures. BAC is the angle we are finding its measure, ABC equals 75 degrees, ACB equals 45 degrees. Now add the measures of the known angles, 75 degrees plus 45 degrees equal 120 degrees then we have BAC plus 120 degrees equal 180 degrees subtract the sum of the two known angles from 180 degrees so BAC equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees then BAC equals 60 degrees exercise it please Pause the video for 10 minutes in order to solve them and then click play to see the answers. Answers. Exercise 1. Given ABC equals 50 degrees and CAB equals 35 degrees, find the measure of angle ACB. BAC plus ABC plus ACB equal 180 degrees. The measure of BAC is 35 degrees. The measure of ABC is 50 is degrees. So, 35 degrees plus 50 degrees plus ACB equals 180 degrees. 35 plus 50 equals 185. Then, 85 degrees plus ACB equals 180 degrees. Subtract 85 degrees from 180. ACB equals 180 degrees minus 85 degrees. ACB equals 95 degrees. Exercise 2. Given... ABC equals 50 degrees and BAC equals 90 degrees since, since this triangle is right at A. Find the measure of angle ACB. BAC plus ABC plus ACB equal 180 degrees. BAC equals 90 degrees. ABC equals 50 degrees. 90 degrees plus 50 degrees plus ACB equal 180 degrees. 90 degrees plus 50 degrees, 140 degrees. So, 140 degrees plus ACB equals 180 degrees. ACB equals 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. Then, ACB equals 40 degrees. Application. Please open your booklet page 42 and follow with me in exercise 3. Calculate the measure of the angles in each of the following cases. A. ABC is a right isosceles triangle. If BAC equals 90 degrees, then find the measure of angle ABC and BCA. BAC equals 90 degrees, then it is a right triangle at A. So, we will draw this triangle here. We know that these angles are base angles in right isosceles triangles, then the measure of each angle is equal to 45 degrees. M and P is an equilateral triangle. We will draw this triangle here. The measure of each angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees. Then each angle equals 60 degrees. C. SLO is an isosceles triangle with vertex S. If LSO equals 70 degrees, then we want the measure of SLO and SOL. We will draw this triangle here with the principal vertex S. We know that 70 degrees plus SLO plus SOL equal 180 degrees. 70, so SLO 
plus SOL equal 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. SLO plus SOL equal 110 degrees. But the two angles are equal angles. Then SLO equals SOL equals 110 degrees divided by 2. So the measure of, it, of each angle is equal to 55 degrees. D. UTV is a right angled triangle at V. If TUV equals 50 degrees, then what is the measure of VTU and TVU? We will draw this triangle here and VTU plus 90 degrees plus 50 degrees equal 180 degrees. VTU plus 140 degrees equal 180 degrees. VTU equals 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. VTU equals 40 degrees. And TVU is a right angle, then is, its measure is 90 degrees. Exercise 6, page 43 in booklet. Please pause the video and try to solve the exercise, then click play to see the answers. Consider the figure at right. A complete. RO equals in this figure, we notice that RO, RI, and IO have the same symbols. Then, RO equals RI equals IO. The three sides of triangle ROI have the same. This is triangle ROI. Its sides are RO, OI, and RI. We noticed in this part that they are equal. Then, they have the same length. Then, ROI is a... What is the type of triangle ROI? We noticed in this part that the three sides of this triangle have the same length. They are equal. Then, ROI is an equilateral triangle as having three equal sides. Thus, the three angles of this triangle, which is an equilateral triangle, are equal. And the measure of each angle is, what is the measure of each angle in equilateral triangle? 60 degrees. The angles RIO and SIO. RIO, this angle, and SIO, this angle, they have the same symbol, so they are equal. Then the measure of SIO equals. RIO is an angle in equilateral triangle, so its, its measure is 60 degrees. Then, RIO equals SIO equals 60 degrees, so the measure of SIO is 60 degrees. The sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. SIO equals from this part, SIO equals 60 degrees. And IOS equals, using the figure, IOS is this angle, its measure is 75 degrees. Then, what is the measure of angle ISO? In triangle ISO, the sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees. Then, 75 degrees plus 60 degrees plus ISO equal 180 degrees. 135 degrees plus ISO equal 180 degrees. So, ISO equal equals 180 degrees minus 135 degrees. ISO equals 45 degrees. B. What is the measure of angle LOF? LOF. In triangle LOF, the sides FL and FO are equal. They have the same symbol. Then, triangle LFO is an isosceles triangle. Angle LOF is a base angle in this triangle. And base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So, LOF equals the second base angle in this triangle, which is FLO. So, FOL equals angle OLF 
equals 45 degrees. C. Calculate the measure of angle LFO. LFO. The sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Then, LFO plus FOL plus OLF equal 180 degrees. LFO plus 45 degrees plus 45 degrees equal 180 degrees. LFO plus 90 degrees equal 180 degrees. Then LFO equal 180 degrees minus 90 degrees equal 90 degrees. D. What is the nature of triangle LFO? LFO. We noticed here that triangle LFO is an isosceles triangle. And in part C, we noticed that the measure of angle LFO is 90 degrees. It is a right angle. Then, triangle LFO is an isosceles triangle having a right angle. So, LFO is a right isosceles triangle. Homework exercises 4 and 5, page 43 in booklet. Thank you for listening and goodbye.